terms of breaking news, it concerns Wales wing Lewis Rees Zamet. He's been released by his club Gloucester with immediate effect so he can pursue his dream of a career in American football. You know, my dad played American football growing up in, in Europe and, you know, it's been a dream of mine. It's probably the biggest decision I've ever made. I think the first thought of being in the NFL was when I was a young boy, but I knew that I'd had to play rugby for a long time before that. I've played for Gloucester since I was 16 years old. Without them, I, I wouldn't have done anything in rugby. I've played for my country. I've gone to a World Cup. I've played for the Lions. You know, I'm very grateful for that and just allowing me this opportunity to, to come to the IPP program and try and live my dream. I think the theme uncommon that we've been using this year is it's very motivating for all of us because you know we're all from different places in the world. We've never played American football before. We're all different builds. You've got players that are massive, offensive, defensive linemen. You've got pacey guys like myself and Praise. You know, we all push each other. We're all accountable for each other. And at the end of the day, all of us want to play in the NFL. And if we can help one of the boys do that, then that's going to be extra special. The group of players that we have here, we believe reflect the kind of guys that if they just happened to have been born in America, they'd be playing in the NFL, or at the very least, they'd be playing a very high level of football or have the option too. The fact that they were just born in another country means that they never had that option available to them. It's 10 weeks, largely trying to replicate an NFL training camp schedule. The kind of routine they're gonna to have to build once they're in an NFL club. It's on-field practices, film review, learning the game in a classroom setting, it's lifting weights, it's running, it's going to team meetings, it's being on time, it's being early for all of those things. I I'm a huge believer that you can't go through this process alone. I think this camp and this program, we need to build in a way where they have to lean on each other. I think iron sharpens iron. It's a cliche that's used all the time, especially in the league. See ya. What's new and different about Lewis's situation is that he's 22 years old and he has a sport at his feet. He can do whatever he wants in the rugby world and he's choosing to be here. And I think the message that that sends to the world and the message that we want to send to the world here is that the IPP can and should be a destination for the world's best athletes. And Lewis is certainly one of them. One side you've got all these skills that he's gonna have to learn from scratch that are new and different. He can catch a ball, he's been catching a ball his entire life, but how does he catch this ball and in what way? Those kind of things we have to tweak and work with him all the time. But as much as possible, we need to make sure that he's not unlearning any of the things that have made him exceptional up to this point in the sport that he's been playing. As soon as he gets that ball in his hands, we want to teach him how to run the route, how to take the hand off, how to get the ball. But once he's got the ball, I want him to be Lewis Rees-Samet. I want him to be Wales winger, Gloucester winger, one of the best rugby players in the world, one of the fastest try scorers in world rugby. I think the hardest challenge is probably, my body's obviously not used to running full full pace and then trying to you know stop immediately and I'm, I can definitely feel that in my legs at the minute but you know day by day I'm I'm slowly getting used to it and you know my body will will adapt and, and, and that'll get smoother and smoother. I mean all the coaches really care about us and and they really want this dream of ours to be a reality. They're doing everything they can to to make this happen and to us now to push ourselves as hard as we can on the field off the field we spend a lot of time talking about the kind of athletes we want on this program, but what always translates is that combination of skill and athleticism and character. Lewis is exactly the type of person we want to have here in our building. The word that we're using with this class particularly a lot is uncommon. We're asking these guys to be uncommon in their approach. We don't want them to just go there and try and be like every other American player on the roster because they're not. We want them to want to be that outsider, to embrace that image of the outsider and say, you know what, I do stand out, but I'm going to continue to stand out for the rest of my career and as long as I'm playing this game. Call it the underdog, call it whatever you want. These guys are different and we're glad they're different. We want to be different. Everything that we do on this program is different.